Every year, more than a billion wood pallets are used in America to ship and store the food we eat. Now, new testing reveals that wood pallets are potential food safety time bombs full of pathogens and deadly bacteria like E. coli, salmonella, and listeria that can sicken American consumers and even be fatal. As a consumer, I would be very concerned. As a scientist, we've identified a positive presence of these pathogens in, in the wood pallets. The testing shows that wood pallets routinely are left outside, rarely clean, and some become so filthy, swarming flies are attracted, even rodents. It's easy to imagine how raw seafood can leak onto a pallet and then transfer onto the next raw food product used on that same pallet. IGPS, the nation's leading plastic pallet rental company, recently conducted independent tests on wood pallets in five major U.S. cities. From New Orleans to Portland, Maine, the testing found E. coli, salmonella, listeria, and other harmful bacteria. What do we do here? Dr. Peter Kamik of Kappa Laboratories conducted much of the testing. Wood is almost like a sponge. In other words, it's porous, it retains moisture, it's very difficult to sanitize, and the ability of bacteria to survive and be transferred either into a plant or onto a food product that may be placed on the pallet is a, is a distinct possibility. The results of the test were alarming. At Louisiana supermarkets and seafood retailers, nearly 50% of the wood pallets tested positive for E. coli, salmonella, and or listeria. At outdoor food markets in Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, more than one-third of the pallets tested positive for salmonella, E. coli, listeria, and or extremely high bacteria counts. The bacteria counts in Philadelphia were sky high, and on the lobster and fishing docks of Maine, the pallets tested positive for listeria monocytogenes, which kills 500 Americans a year. IGPS researchers tested wood pallets that were clearly in current use. They used sterile collection tools and carefully shipped the samples overnight to independent microbiology labs for testing. Actual listeria. They also tested 60 plastic pallets in current use in Mississippi and Pennsylvania. The independent labs did not find traces of pathogens on any of the 60 plastic samples. I think at this point could say there's a collective body of evidence to suggest that wooden pallets would be able to harbor and contain bacteria and pathogens as well. As a consumer, I would be concerned that this is a possible way that bacteria could contaminate food. And as a scientist, I think that we need to look at this further. 